How you guys doing today? This is Jason with Tunatech, and today we're going to see if hearing is believing. In the world of audio, there's a lot of choices out there. You've got really expensive ones and you've got really budget ones. And sometimes those budget ones can surprise you and sometimes those expensive ones can disappoint. Today, I'm coming to show you guys a brand that's been around for a while and they kind of popped up on my radar and I haven't heard from them in a long time. The company is called Koss, K-O-S-S. -S. Um, they started in 1958 by John C. Koss. He originally developed a um, phonograph player with some speakers and at a Wisconsin audio show, he uh, utilized a privacy switch which allowed listeners to hear music by plugging in the world's first stereo phones or what we call headphones. Um, the, stereo the stereo phones were intended to be an accessory, but they demonstrated the high fidelity stereo sound that the portable phonograph player delivered. So cost kind of, not invented, but you know, with their use of a stereo phone or headphone, uh, they were revolutionary at the time. So fast forward to today, most of our headphones aren't wired. They're earbuds or they're wireless Bluetooth. So you got a lot of choices out there. But today I'm going to talk about these right here. These are the Cost True Wireless Earbuds with Charging Case. Now, these as of right now are sold out or not available yet. I don't know exactly when they'll be available. I know the starting price is roughly $49.99. So they tier on that budget mid-range um, area. So if you're looking for something that's decently priced, these will be it. So before we go any further though, Cost has been around for a while and these um, are relatively new for them. So these are the Cost TWS 250i. And these are true wireless earbuds that feature Bluetooth 5.0, four and a half hours of listening time, and 11 with the included USB charging case. They have touch controls, which can be used for answering ending phone calls, play, pause, skip, uh, they have dual connect, which allows either earbud to be used independently or together. They have built-in microphone in each earbud to deliver clear calls and access to your device's voice assistant. So the touch may not be so much for your assistant, but the voice can be activated through this. It includes a small, medium, and large silicone ear cushion. It in includes the USB-C cord. So before I go into any more, uh, this is what we're gonna do. So we're gonna open these up, see what's in the box, probably not a whole lot. I'm gonna try to pair them with my phone. I'm gonna listen to a few songs and let you guys know what I think. Now, with any audio product, you know, sound is subjective. Uh, so while I may think they sound good because of a certain aspect, like more bass or higher highs or better mids or clarity, less distortion, uh, others may disagree. So take it with a grain of salt on any audio review in addition, I am no audiophile. I want to let you guys know that I was given these uh, uh, by costs. Uh, they weren't asked me to. Re they didn't ask me to review these, and they didn't ask me how to interpret my review. So I uh, come at this as unbiased as possible. So we'll see how it goes. All right, I'll move this phone out of the way a little bit here, and we're gonna open it up. So as you can see, it's a perfect color from my backdrop here, which is my 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 channel's colors. So you got a red, white box. Bluetooth in the front. It says the sound of cost, you get 20 to 20,000 hertz response. Uh, you got what's included in the, in the box here. It says collect music, gaming, web, and movies. On the back, it talks about kind of stuff where they went over, but also this little definition of the sound of cost. Whether you're listening at home or on the go, cost wireless earbuds deliver an excitement of live performance. All the excitement of a live performance. So again, talking about music, and if you like it, uh, this is just a picture of the uh, original uh, John C. Costa founder. And it says, hearing is believing. So again, I'm going to temper my expectations because of the price point, but I'm still excited. I, I think there's a spot and a space for these kind of earbuds. So without further ado, let's see what we got. Okay, so right off the bat, we got some, we got the box, the charging case here open that up so as you can see it's 
a pebble shaped and it has a cost if you can see that embossed on the top uh, you got your USB type-c charging it is not wireless I do not believe so again with this price pay price point you don't expect a wireless charging for this but it does have charging port you got three LED lights that probably indicate your case and or earbud status and or charging and then when you open it you can see we've got spots to put your earbuds in and you can see the little blue lights it's got looks like about half charge of the case um, then we've got the earbuds if I can get them out here they're relatively small so um, that's what they look like here let me see if I can get the focus here so not much to them looks like it's probably got a medium sized tip uh, and then there's your charging ports. Uh, I don't see, looks like maybe a microphone right there at the bottom. Uh, and then also in the box, you got your other tips, which I will probably put in the small ones uh, here so that I can fit in my ear. And then you've got a very, very, well, I shouldn't say for sure, but I'm sure it's a pretty short charging cable because most of these don't come with a very long charging cable. And as I say, you got about a foot here. Um, and then last but not least, you got your guide. So from what I understand, you stick them in the case, you open it up and it automatically connects. I don't know if it uses the quick connect like most Android and Apple devices, but it's still pretty simple. Uh, I'll try to go through and set it up and see if they work. But I'm gonna take a second to switch the ear tips and we'll be back in a second. All right guys, so I'm in my Bluetooth settings on my phone and as you can see, the batteries aren't really charged too much. It's only blinking one, but I'm gonna see if I can get this to kind of link up. So I'm going to go ahead and open it up. It should be red and then turn the pairing. You see it blinking blue. And it looks like, I haven't seen any yet. There, now they should be in pairing mode. And there you see it there, cost. Click on that, it says pairing. And then you want to allow the pair. And it says connected for calls and media. So there is no quick connect, like on the more expensive brands, you pop it open, it shows a little picture and you hit connect. But pretty simple, you open it up and you do it that way. So it looks like the battery life is not super great. Um, but either way, I, what I'm going to do now is I am going to fire up some music and see what these things sound like. All right, guys, so I'm in YouTube music. I have the earbuds in my ears. You can't see now. I might be talking a little louder. They, with the smaller ear tip, they fit in really good, and they're very, very hard to notice. Like, I can barely feel them. They're pretty small. Uh, so I'm going to listen to a couple songs that I like. Um, so I'm going to start with Linkin Park, Lost, and I'm just going to hit play here and see what it sounds like. So I'm turning it up. Just give me a warning not to turn it too loud. Okay. They're um, fairly loud. No, double. Okay, so double tap starts it up again. Double tap stops it. Okay, so we got that. It looked like it was kind of controlling your volume. But either way, so double tap stop works. Um, they're very bass heavy and they actually don't sound too shabby. Now this is a kind of an alternative rock kind of music. So uh, we're gonna go back and I'm gonna listen to one of my favorite um, alternative rappers, or uh, should they just say rapper, his name's NF. He has a new album out called Hope. Now I can't listen to this, you can't listen to this music with me because of copyright, but either way, I'm gonna hit play here and see what it sounds like. I mean, they're turned up pretty loud. They're not as loud as other headphones, but they sound really good. So this beginning of this song is kind of instrumental. There's pianos, violins, cellos, and him like singing in his voice. So I skip to the rap. Okay, all right. All right, so I'm not gonna listen to a whole bunch because I just got a warning that the uh, battery is low. Uh, I didn't really charge it that much, so I'm gonna stick it back in the case here and hopefully I can get these charged up and listen to them more. But here's my initial thoughts. So. These are, like I said, $50 new for these headphones and, or, sorry, headphones, earbuds. They don't sound terrible. They don't sound great. So uh, the sound overall is 
good. Uh, it's kind of thin, and what I mean by that is you can hear the highs, you can hear the mids, you can hear the lows, but um, at higher levels, there is a little bit of distortion with bass, but it is a bass heavy headphone. For $50, I don't think it's a terrible earbud, especially as easy it is to set up and how well they fit in your ear. Um, but here's one thing in closing. So should you buy these? Um, it depends on who you are. If you're a cost fan and you want an affordable pair of earbuds, these are the ones for you. If not, there's other options out there. Uh, but either way, these don't sound terrible, but they don't sound great. Uh, I know it's not really a review, but it's hard to determine if it's going to be good for you. Me personally, um, I do have uh, some go-to earbuds. I'm not going to mention names because they are much more expensive, but I prefer those. But these are definitely good options, especially if you want something that you're going to go running with that you don't care if they, one falls out and you lose it. They're not going to cost you a lot of money to replace. But if you're still a cost fan and you want a wired solution, they do also offer utility cords. So this is a USB type C and this is a lightning cable uh, ad adapter or dongle. And it, you plug it in and you can actually plug in headphones. Um, they do have uh, volume. It looks like they have volume and, and buttons in, in, uh, involved with these. These are also available on the website now. Uh, for those of you who want a more classic sound, they still have your typical, um, you know, earbuds or headphones. These are just your basic uh, on-ear with inline microphone and remote. Uh, maybe a lot of these, I'm not sure what these sound like. I don't know much about these, but these are just some other options that they have. Uh, they also have uh, your even more standard, you know, generic headphone that again, they're gonna have that classic cost sound. And if you're a cost fan, you probably know what I'm talking about. Um, but again, they work with almost any device because they have a universal adapter. And if you got these, you can use it with any phone that doesn't have a headphone jack. And then finally, last but not least, one of the more popular headphones that they sell that are wired is the Porta Pro Utility. You can see the retro sound. These are actually uh, mimic an older style headphone that was out years ago. Um, but again, it has the compact 2.5 millimeter junction where you can use an adapter. So I want to say thanks to Cost for sending out all these items. Uh, you know, this is the kind of stuff that uh, you want to see from a company that's supporting their customers, giving you wide options from, you know, your earbuds to wired solutions to even using your wired solutions with your phone if you don't have Bluetooth or don't prefer Bluetooth. So again, these are the costs. True wireless earbuds. They are the TWS250i and they're $49.99 once available on their website. I'll leave a link in the description below. And thanks for watching.